And so on page 49, we'll read, It's not our situations that make us safe enough to rest. It is our shepherd who makes us safe enough to rest. Yeah. And I know for me, I tend to think once this part of my situation is over or once I get through this event, then I'll be then I'll be good and it'll be home free and I'll be safe. Yeah. And I'll be able to rest. But what yeah. would you say to the person who maybe holds on to control or maybe not be able to put our trust in situations? Mm. Well, I think by the way, I wrote that because I'm learning it and living it. Not <laughs> oh, I be- love that. You're on the journey with us. That's not because thing. I have it mastered. I don't. <laughs> but think of it this way. Okay, yeah. this helps me anyway. When I fly on an airplane, when I'm a passenger on an airplane, mm-hmm. right, I sit down, I buckle my seatbelt, and then remember they always say, sit back and relax, right? Yeah. Well, I literally do that. Oh. I try to sit back and relax. And here's why. Because I don't know how to fly a plane. Ultimately, if something goes wrong, I, I have there's nothing I can do anyway, right? That's very true. So I might as well sit back and relax. So in many ways, if we look at our lives that way, if we really trust that God is sovereign, mm-hmm. and we really know that He's got this, we can't control our situations. But we can control our response to our shepherd mm. in those situations. And if we realize, okay, He's sovereign, He's leading me, He's guiding me, mm-hmm. He's got this, that I'm just going to try to sit back and relax. Now, I say that philosophically, and that's the way I try to live. But I will say I do get a great deal of satisfaction marking something off my to-do list. Yes, right? Because then I think, too. okay, now I can rest. So how do you really do that in a practical way mm-hmm. is the hard part, right? Yeah. And so I've had to, every time I feel that urgency, is to say, okay, I'm going to trust that my shepherd is leading me. And just like we're learning, mm-hmm. he's the one who leads the sheep to what they need. We don't wander our way into finding what we need. So if I keep following him, I'm going to trust that my satisfaction will come from where he leads. 